Antelope. We are a few of the many animals in the antelope family, from the biggest to the smallest, and we want to talk to you about our daily lives. Hello there. I am a dick dick. Yeah, don't laugh. I, I am one of the smallest antelope in Africa, and my name is Doris. Uh, how do you like my head crest? Uh, my hairdo. Well, just asking. Would you like to meet my mate, Richard? He looks like me, but he has small, straight horns. This is Richard. The dark spots in front of his eyes are glands, and Richard uses them to rub a dark oil on twigs and branches in our territory. It is like a fence that other dick dicks smell, and they know that they are not invited into our yard. Male dick dicks are a little smaller than the females, as you can see. I think I heard something over there. Oh, there is that pesky vervet monkey. He must be looking for his friends. None of your friends are over here. Go on back and climb a tree or something. Get away, get away, stop following me. We dick dicks do not live in herds. We just hang out in pairs, the two of us. Let's go, Doris. I hear more of those monkeys coming. Hi, I'm Elmo, and I'm an eland. We elands are the largest of the antelope. We are pretty handsome too, I think, with a special wad of red hair on our heads. But we are very shy. But you're getting too close. So I'm getting out of here. And I'm taking my birds with me. Come on, birds, let's go. We Elands live in large herds, and we travel all over. From the savanna plains that you see here, to the lowlands, to the mountains. I think I just heard something in the grass over there. Yep. Two cheetahs coming towards us. Let's get out of here. Because cheetahs are much smaller than we are, but sometimes they go for our youngsters. And if they do, we would all turn and run them off. So, if they're smart, they won't try that. Oh, there they go on their chase. Whew, man, they're fast. They're way faster than we are. Oops! <laughs> they missed their antelope dinner. <laughs> Better luck next time. We're gonna put some distance between us and them. We can travel pretty fast when we need to, so bye bye. Hi, I am Orb, an Oraby, and I'm much larger than the little Dick Dick, though not as bold as they are. I am a very shy creature. Oh, oh, there I go. In slow motion, you can see a little of me. I don't run fast, so I hide if I'm frightened. Like this. Hi, uh, I'm a Thompson's gazelle, and my name is Zella. And that is my mother behind me? Well, uh, she, she was behind me. My mother has taught me everything I know, like how to flip my tail. That is just something gazelles do. Even as a young gazelle, I am larger than the little dick dicks you just met. We are grazers, so we eat grass and we migrate or travel with our herd and with other animals. We all are, are looking for good grass to eat. I, I stay close to my mom because there's so much I've got to learn from her. So sometimes I have to spring to catch up. When I grow up, I will be able to run and spring high like this gazelle and run as fast, too. It is very important that we can dart back and forth so we can get away from any predators who may want to catch us. 
We gazelles can run faster than any other antelope. And, and we can run almost 50 miles an hour. We are the fastest. The boys practice butting heads. It's usually it's play. For the adult males, it's how they gain ownership of their own territories. This is my father, Tommy. He has long, beautiful ribbed horns. And my, my mother has the shorter horns. We gazelles are ruminants, like cows, so we can graze quickly and then lay down for hours to chew our cud of grasses. And in that way, we can keep our heads up and be alert. Hi, my name is Grant, and I'm a Grant's gazelle. From the back, we look like we are wearing a pair of white pants, so we are called Grants with the Pants. We like to eat the taller grasses, but we can browse on leaves of bushes and trees also. And we get most of our water from those leaves, so we don't need to be near a body of water. But when we are in the taller grasses, we can't see other animals hiding in the grass, like big cats. You know, a cheetah, for instance. I think I smell something. What is that? <laughs> A cheetah! I see it! I see it! Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I just saw it. Where'd it go? Oh, I know. Where'd it go? Where is it? Oh, I know it's around here. <gasps> there it is! I'm out of here! Bye! Well, hi there. I'm down here. My name is Impy, and I'm an Impala. I'm a young male impala. You, you can tell by the horns uh, on just starting to grow on my head. I stay close to my mom while I'm still young and stay in the herd so that I can drink milk from mom. This is our herd of females with the one teenage male, the one with the horns. And this is my father. He is a full-grown male, and look at his beautiful horns. He's calling to our herd. There are many bachelor impalas nearby. And when my dad gets tired of protecting his herd, another male will come try to take over, and they will fight to see who wins. This guy must have lost his fight along with a horn. We Impala run very gracefully. Look at that. Hello, I am a reed buck. My name is Reese. You might notice that my horns curve forward, so that makes it easy to tell us apart from most other antelope. We reed buck can live in the mountains or on the grasslands, as I do. We are able to eat a lot of plants that other antelope do not like. We enjoy reed-like grasses, like those I'm standing in. So that is how we got our name, reedbuck. You won't see us in herds like the gazelles. We stay to ourselves mostly, though some ladies might group together. We do know how to whistle, not songs, but we whistle a series of short whistles to each other when we are alarmed and fear danger. But I won't whistle now because it would be a false alarm. But you could try three short whistles. Hi there. I I'm Harry the Hartebeast. Uh, it's easy to remember my name because of the curved shape of my horns. They're not straight, but curve around and backward to look somewhat uh, heart-shaped. Here, let me turn my head. You see? See the heart shape? 
I live in the areas at the edge of the woods and the open plains or the savannas. Well, this is pretty dry stuff around here. I don't need to drink much water if I can eat more of the green grasses. And I, I think I see some more green stuff over there. It looks but Yeah, this is much better. Uh, look out there. I, I see a herd of lady hartebeest. Uh, yes, they, they do have horns, too. Uh, I think I'll, I'll go introduce myself. Bye. Hi, I am a topi, and my horns are ridged and curved back, not curved out like the heart to beast. Did you uh, notice my multicolored coat? Well, I was not painted different colors by a classroom of children, if that is what you are thinking. We are the most unusually marked antelope, with light legs and dark splotches on our bodies. My handsome appearance has brought a lady to visit. I hope you can recognize the difference now in estopes as compared to those hot beasts. Hello, I'm Buck, a bush buck. You're wondering about the flies, right? Well, I didn't wash my face this morning, and the skin on my face is oily and attracts flies. I hope you washed your face. I have smooth spiral or twisted horns, and they're, they're very different from the impala. They have no ridges. That's Barbara over there. Uh, notice that lady bushbucks don't have horns. We get our name Bushbuck because we hide in the bush. Uh, we're shy and, and don't like to be seen. Because we do not run fast like the gazelle, we need to hide when we're scared. We bush Bucks don't live in herds. We, we just hang out as a couple. We've got to get back to the bush now. Bye. Hi, I'm Wally, a young male water buck. Look over there and you'll see my father. He has magnificent horns. And my mother's there beside him. Females like her don't have horns. We spend our days staying very close to water. Of all the antelopes, we, the water bucks, need the most water daily. The youngsters will drink from their mothers as long as they can, even when they get pretty big. We live in herds, mostly females with some young males, perhaps. Our hairy coats are pretty oily, and some think they stink. I think these birds eat the insects off our backs and don't think we stink too much, right? This fellow has found a small mound of dirt he can stand on so that he can see a little better. And by doing this, he's also announcing that this is his territory. Well, these fellows have formed a bachelor herd. They are different from me in their white markings on their rear ends. Okay, I guess we need to go find some water. So bye! Now, I bet you can recognize almost all of us in this antelope family. Heart a beast. Topi, Eland, Thompson's Gazelle, Dick Dick, Grant's Gazelle, Impala. 
already. Bushbuck. Waterbuck. Water buck.